coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. This place is heaven. Hey guys. Hey guys. Guess where we are right now? Well, first of all, let me introduce who I'm with. Chris. Brought in Japan. And Jin and Rachel. And we are headed to the best place in Japan, Cat Island. Um, we're on the boat. We just made the boat. Go watch my vlog videos on my second channel if you want to see our whole like adventure <laughs> getting here. Um, but yeah, we're headed to Cat Island. I've wanted to go here for probably two years now. I think I first heard about it about two years ago. And I think it's going to be amazing. The weather is just perfect, so we are really lucky. Oh my god, we're almost there. Is this it? I think so, yeah. Oh. We're there, we're there, we're there. Alright guys, it's time to go find some cats. Where are the cats? I don't see any cats yet. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> it's <laughs> they call it Cat Island Delurus here, but actually there aren't any. Tashirojima, or Cat Island, is located in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Ishinomaki City in Miyagi Prefecture. Tashirojima is inhabited by more cats than humans, which is where it gets its nickname of Cat Island. There are less than a hundred people living on the island, but there are several hundred cats. Now in order to get to Tashirojima, you need to take a one hour long ferry ride, which you can board from Ishinomaki. The boat will stop at both of the island's settled areas, a tiny village near the north and a more developed village in the south. We decided to get off at the stop in the south. Yeah. Alright guys, we are venturing deeper into the island now in search of more cats. We already saw three! Yay! Wow! Oh! He's so friendly! Oh no! <laughs> What a cutie. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> it's What's the, the good stuff. <laughs> it's not the cheap stuff. Oh my god. Oh, this cat here. My favorite like one. A bomb hey. <laughs> it does. Oh, they're all coming. They're all coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. This place is heaven. I'm never going home. Fun fact, nobody owns a pet dog on Cat Island, and in order to protect the cats, it's actually not allowed to bring a dog onto the island at all. It's probably his first cat toy ever. <laughs> oh, they're so happy. Oh my god, that gray one is so cute. Oh, I want to bring him home. There is one store on the island where you can buy drinks and snacks, but surprisingly they didn't have a very good selection of cat food. So if you would like to feed the cats, I recommend bringing your own food and snacks for them just in case there isn't any you can buy in the store. My recommendation would be to bring some cans of wet food for the cats or some bottles of water and bowls that you can give them the water in. We saw a few people feeding them dry food but I didn't really see any bowls of water anywhere so I was kind of worried that the cats were dehydrated so that would probably be a really good idea. This is paradise. It's a chocolate cat. <laughs> <laughs> The tsunami in 2011 partially flooded Tashirojima and both the villages had several buildings that were destroyed. Luckily, the island is located behind a peninsula which helped protect it from more severe damage. We are now in search of the cat shrine which Chris has been telling us stories about. Oh, it's just Tell amazing. us the background story, Chris, with your, your best accent, yes. So it's said that about 100 years ago, this island had a thriving textiles industry. And then, shit went down. There was loads of rats, and they were eating like all the textiles. I can't remember what it was. I think it was silk or cotton or something. And all the rats were eating it. So they were like, I know what we can do. Cats. So, they brought the cats along. The cats killed and ate all the rats. And then saved the economy of the island. Yay. So to thank the cats, they made a cat shrine. And lived happily ever after. Yeah. And now we're looking for that shrine. 
This cat shrine is located at the center of the island between the two ports. So if you get off at either one and venture in towards the middle of the island, you should be able to find it. It was a good half hour walk to reach the shrine and it was really hot. There wasn't much shade around, so definitely bring enough liquids. We found the shrine! Aww, we made it to the cat shrine and this cat is so happy to see us. Hey! We brought food! Hey! Aww. He's so happy. He's like, no one ever makes it all the way up here. Is this, a this is pretty awesome. Look at all the, oh my god, there's cat toys! <laughs> That's so cute. This shrine was built in dedication to a cat that was accidentally killed by a falling rock. After visiting the cat shrine, we decided to head out to the north side of the island to see if there were any more cats to find over there. There weren't as many cats as there were over on the south side, but the cats that were there all came flocking towards us and they looked really happy to see us, so if you get a chance, definitely go visit them. So, so far we have seen more cats than people, definitely. How many people have we seen so far? Maybe... Six. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe ten at the most. Tourists, a lot of them are. Lots of them are tourists, at least half of them are tourists. And we've probably seen at least 30 cats, Yeah. I would say. Probably about 30 cats, so that's awesome. Now obviously we came to Tashirojima for the cats, but just look at this view. We had a wonderful time just relaxing down by the water here. It's a really gorgeous place. As you're exploring the island, you'll probably notice that there aren't any restaurants around. But after a quick Google search, we discovered that there is one and we head off to find it. Ah, there's a cat coming to welcome us and Chris terrifies it. It flees into the bushes. So we have discovered probably the only place to eat on the island. It's a little, it's a house actually, it's someone's home and they have a little cafe set up in here and it looks like there's only one thing on the menu probably each day they change it. Today is um, octopus tomato sauce pasta. Um, it was nice to be able to just come in and wash our hands and use the washroom. They have a really nice washroom here. So if you're looking for somewhere to do that, uh, this is probably your only place on the island. It looked like otherwise you'd have to use an outhouse. Those were the only other washrooms that we saw. He's following us home. Aww. Aww, what a cutie. Hey. Hey guys, it's time to get back on the boat and go home. I don't want to leave. This place is really nice. We're on the ferry now, which is really sad. Are you sad, Chris? Chris is so sad. There'll be tears in a minute. No, seriously, this place was so nice. It was gorgeous. Really, really relaxing. And the cats were so cute. They were so friendly. It's really rare to find stray cats that are friendly in Japan that will like come up to you. They were so cute. Shrine cat was the best. And that pretty gray cat with the long hair that kind of looked like Maro. Those two were my favorite. But I will put all the information about Cat Island down in the description box. So check that if you're interested in coming here. Um, it costs 2,500 yen for the boat ride here and back both ways. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. And you can get lunch on the island for 800 yen. All right guys, we are heading back to Sendai now to continue our road trip. So check out the videos on Rachel and Chris's channel. And look forward to more from me too. Bye.